I always say to the kids, eat your carrots, you're going to turn into parrots. I've never heard that. I'm thinking I'm not paying that. Yeah, I mean, not. I did. Most people I know do the elf. How many years has that got left in it? Talking about lies, we asked our Instagram followers what lies they tell their kids to keep the peace. And we got some interesting ones, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, we got the normal, you know, like um, carrots make you see in the dark. Like, And I, I always say to the kids, eat your carrots, so you're going to turn into parrots. They're obviously not going to turn into parrots. But I've never, when, I've never heard that. When Ruby was younger, she'd be like, I don't want to eat my carrots, so I don't want to turn into a parrot. The one that always <laughs> works is the bath. That, that, especially when they're younger, that is the best one to use. When they're in the bath and you say, can you get out of the bath? And they say, no, I don't want to get out yet, but you need them to get out for bed. And then you just say, you're going to get... I don't tell people that I say, tell the kids this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've said it. You pull the plug out and you say you're going to get sucked down if you don't get out. <laughs> no, I said and you're going to get sucked down into Jumanji. That's what I used to say. I don't. I just say you get sucked down the plug out. <laughs> and I'm telling you now that we, if you've got kids that mine are too old for it now, they get it. They're just like, no, we're not dad. But if they're like... From the age one to four, that work works. No, yeah, that started with Daisy because she used to really like the original. They Jumanji. jump out quicker yeah, than they Yeah, so went quick. In. Yeah, <laughs> that one works. So yeah. definitely use that. Because so they used to say to, we used to watch Jumanji, the original, which I think is far better than the remakes. But anyway, and uh, yeah, we used to. I used to say to her, "You get sucked down into Jumanji." <laughs> She'd yeah. get out because they kind of like get sucked into the game, don't they? So that was my. Yeah, no, I know, I know what <laughs> you're talking about. That was my brain. About. My brain purpose. One that came up a lot was, I've never heard it, but apparently it's really popular. When you hear the ice cream, ice cream mute band music, that means they've actually run out of ice cream rather than that's them calling, <laughs> calling you I'm ice the, cream. I, that, I reckon about 20 people said that and I've to, never heard it. To be it. fair, I feel like I'm actually going to use that one because the ice cream vans these days, it's not 99p anymore, is it? No. When the, other, the other day for one, it was £4.50 for an ice cream. I'm not paying that. Yeah, I not. mean, I did because I'm a pushover. Well, you can't but... blame the ice cream man for that, can no, you? No, no, I'm not blaming the ice cream man, and I will support them. And I did buy it, but I bought it begrudgingly. It's too expensive. <laughs> when we went to ice cream van in Wales, and um, he undercharged us by about ten quid, and oh. I literally felt terrible. <laughs> oh, what we walked off, and we were like, "How was that so cheap?" Yeah, we didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't um, call him down. I was giving him his money. Just no. let him drive off. Oh, poor mm. ice cream van man. <laughs> I used to say to my sister when we were younger, this is really, this actually, now, now I'm older, it feels like we were really mean to do this. But me and my older sister, we used to tell my younger sister that sausages were pig's willies because we wanted to nick the sausages off her plate because we wanted more dinner. <laughs> so we used to say to my younger sister, oh, you know sausages are pig's willies, don't you? And then she'd be like, ugh, and then she wouldn't eat them and me and my sister would get off. I'd be happy like... I'd be happy if mine were like a mini sausage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving swiftly on. No, yeah, let's move off that one. And then I think as well, people were saying that, obviously, you know that age-old joke of um, you're eating something and you don't really want to share it with the kids, so you just say, oh, it's spicy. You can't oh, that it. works every, every single time. <laughs> But then they get to an age where they like spicy food, so it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I know the lies just get less and less, don't they? Yeah, like we, can't, we don't really do it with our kids now. They're, well, they're almost too old. Probably to... the one lie that I actually regret for many reasons is, you know those elves that come out of Christmas? And I know why you hate the elves, because you just can't be bothered to move them every night and remember it all. Well, you can't either. No, I know. I, the novelty's every definitely single, worn off. Every single, like the first four days we're doing all these good stuff with the elves, and then by day five, if I get a message, can you move the elf? And I literally just move him from one bit of the room to the other. <laughs> and that's it. And that's what happens. We're just throwing the elf around the living room for the remainder of December. It's just but ridiculous. It, it reminded me, I remember once I staged them and the elves moved the dolls. And I can't remember what I exactly did, but there were some dolls in the kids' room. And I staged the elf with these dolls. And then ever since, Ruby won't touch or look at or play with the dolls. And then yesterday she had a friend round and it made me remember. So she had a friend round and I was a bit like, oh, what should we do? I was like, let's get the dolls out and play with them. And I just got this doll out and I brought it down and I and she was like, no, 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 those dolls scare me. Those dolls come to life. And she was absolutely terrified. And I was thinking, it was just me, babe. I moved the elf. <laughs> it, was, it was me. I moved like... Yeah, you just got to tell them. Yeah, but now she, it's like terrified her away from playing with her toys now. So, yeah, so I think well, sometimes... It is, a bit weird. it is a bit weird coming down every morning and seeing this 
cuddly toy just moving around the living room doing different stuff. I mean, I can, yeah, that, I can see who why. Who made that up? <laughs> Don't you uh, think parents have got enough on well, their the mind? The person that made the elf, they've made quite a lot of money with that elf on the shelf. Most people I know do the elf. How many years has that got left in it? Oh, not long because everyone's cottoning on how annoying the elf is. Yeah, we ain't doing it this year. We'll just say that he's gone on holiday, passed away or something. Passed Poor away. elf. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Brown bread. Sorry, girls. The elf's dead. <laughs> Brown bread. Oh my God. Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs>